Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. In this video we're going to have a look at the curve extract function in Hardops and it's not just all about curves, so if you don't know it, stick around. So Hardops is a paid for add-on, it's got loads of functions, if I just hit Q you can see just a few of them and if I go into edit mode and hit Q you've got even more and I think it's really worth noting that inside a lot of these you get a lot of other options and functions here so there really is a lot of different things that you can do with this. But for this video I'm just going to focus on Curve Extract which is one of the ones in the main menu and it has a lot of different things you can do with it. So let's start with the basics. I'm going to go into face mode or edge mode, whichever one you want, and just select a series of edges. So then we're just going to press Q and I'm going to click on Curve Extract and straight away that has created a new object. You can see that in the object outliner and it's created a curve that we can then move backwards and forwards to change the thickness of and scroll up and down to change the amount of segments that it's got. So this is just a really nice tool to be able to select a load of edges and quickly create something like a tube or some edging. Now I will say there's a lot of other functions that are thrown in with this. You can see those in the bottom right hand corner. If you don't have that just press the H button and it makes those appear and there's lots of little bits. I'm not going to go through every single one of them because well, it just gets a little bit tedious and I'm sure you're more than capable of reading but I think my favourite ones probably are the idea that I can press 2 and that automatically adds in 16 segments to the profile though obviously you can still scroll up and down if you want to change that and smooth that out you can also press 3 which is really cool because you get this sort of diamond box pattern which I find really useful if you want to make an interesting sort of edge especially to things like armour the other thing you can do is if you don't want this you just want to curve if you just hit X you've now got, if I just press G, a separate curve that's in place and it's not done anything to damage your object. The other one that's quite cool, let's just come back into face mode or edge mode, is that if I do exactly the same thing again, you can also hit F and it will change the fill mode. So for example, you've got this just quartered bit here. So you can use that for something like the edging on the top of a ceiling and scroll up, that's really handy. And if you wanted to, you can always come to the object data properties here, scroll down to geometry and change this from being round to a profile. And there are lots of presets, for example, our cornice molding is really good. So this is really useful for things like the top of columns or buildings. And it just makes everything faster. Now, the one thing that this is not claiming to do, and I really must highlight this, is it is not saying that this is reinventing the wheel of Blender. It's just saying that this is vastly quicker than going Shift-D, Escape, P, Selection, go into Object Mode, select that object, right-click, Convert to Curve, it's now a curve. You can select that curve, which sometimes is annoying to select, there we go. You can come down to your Object Data Properties, go down to Geometry, go down to Bevel, change the depth up, and then you can change the resolution up as well, but you can't do that nicely by just moving your mouse backwards and forwards, you've got to click and change it. So again, it's not reinventing the wheel, but it is just a lot faster. And as was commented recently on one of my videos, the whole point of add-ons for some people, at least me, is that if this is going to save me one hour of my time, it's already paid for itself. And with all the functions that Hardops has, it's going to do that really quickly. Especially seeing as it comes with a discount bundle with Box Cutter, and they work fantastically together to just save some time. So that's the most basic function. The other thing this can do, which is really nice, is you'll notice that if you hold your mouse over it, it has got lots of other options. So just clicking converts it to an edge. If I press Control, it's going to make a copy of this face, which again is really useful. Sometimes you want those or you want to create a plane off of a face, for example. Let's just go into edge mode. Let's just shift G and select by direction and then we'll control and B those to bevel those in and say I want to select this face maybe I want to make a lid or something this is going to be a box I can press Q control click on curve extract and then now I've got that separately then in reality what I'm probably actually going to do is want to make the top of the box so instead what I could do is go into back into face mode Q and then instead of pressing control and clicking if I press shift and click it will create something which is a new object and we've got a solidify modifier on this already so that's really useful here we go there's my box lid fantastic now the other thing that i can do with that let's just go back into face mode q and shift click on curve extract you also notice you've got lots of options down here again my standard one that i use quite a lot is two this now creates an even thickness either side which is quite useful if you're going to use this for booleaning objects out 
because it means you've got an easy way of judging it. Now, the only problem with that is you can see there's this sort of weird face fighting going on. So I actually quite like to, if I get to somewhere, I can, let's say here, let's zoom out a little bit, you can then press A to add in another solidify modifier, which you're then creating on all directions. And if you don't like that, you can always shift and A to go back, make it thinner, A, and then come back to here. So a really nice set of tools there to just speed up what you're gonna be doing. The other thing you can do, if we just go into face mode again and hit Q, you'll notice that there are two destructive versions of these. So Alt and Shift and Alt. So if I just press Alt and click, you've got your curve extract there. Let's scroll up, but it destroyed the face. So this might be cool for the outside of our box. We can always come to this and then press Q, add modifier and then solidify this and we can add some thickness to that and that's gonna be our rounded top edges or maybe we just want it to have a lip. But this does have, importantly, some thickness to it. So this would make a good sort of, let's say box with some detailing at the top if you wanted to do that. The other option you can do here is press Q and then curve extract with shift and alt and that does our destructive plate. So what that now means is if I G, we've now got that with nothing in the bottom because it's taken away the face that we're using. And once again, Q, add modifier and solidify. Let's move that in. And I've got my box now with a lid. And from there we could, I don't know, Shift S, bring the geometry origin to geometry, Shift and S, and then bring the cursor to there. Let's bring in a plane. Let's rotate that on the X axis, 90. And let's just, I don't know, G and then Z that down a bit, go into edge mode or vertex mode, select there, shift control and B to bevel the vertices, not just the edges, somewhere like that. And then just GG those up. And then I'm gonna go into edge mode, select that edge all the way to there, Q and then curve extract. And there we go, there's my handle for my box. Or if I want that, let's say there, I can Alt and X and then mirror that to the other side. And that Alt X function, which was click, shift click on the object I want to mirror around an Alt X and then click from which side I want to copy from, that was also part of Hard Ops. So you can see how quickly this allows you to create really cool objects. And as I said, that is just one of the many functions. If you do want to see more videos on Hard Ops, say so in the comments section. It allows me to know what you guys want and then I can create videos that help you out. And there are already playlists for Box Cutter and Hard Ops. There are links to those in the description. Have a great day, guys.